any synthetic pesticide in pretty much all cases. City Sustainability Coordinator Troy Moon says Portland's strict new pesticide rules. This ordinance takes it one step further. We're driven by residents. So ordinance doesn't prohibit the sale. Beginning January 1st of this year, the use of synthetic pesticides on lawns without an emergency waiver breaks city law. Restrictions apply to products like weed and feed, herbicide fertilizers, and Roundup. The product at the center of a jury's decision last week awarding a California man $80 million, saying the weed killer contributed to his cancer. There's a groundswell right now. Eldridge Lumber Stores stopped selling almost all synthetic pesticides and weed killers way back in 2013. A bold decision for organic specialist John Bokert. Lo and behold, our customers pushed the whole thing forward. Consumers, Bokert says, have since made that decision well worth it. Made with clove oil, breaks down the cuticle of the plant. Today, the store's aisles are packed with alternatives for Portland residents to use. Insecticidal soap. Though he admits some are a little pricey. The price up front might be a little bit more if you're talking money. But the goal of organics, Bokert and Portland officials say, is a better environment in the long term eliminating chemical runoff harming waterways, and encouraging property owners to make their soil healthier. The organic method is to manipulate the systems. In Portland, Maine, Dustin Lukowski, New Center, Maine.